morning. Um, so I'll quickly let you know that we have changed to a water view site. Um, we did a fake that for where's the care, um, camping ground caravan park worker. Um, he needed to borrow something for another camper to get them out of trouble. We had it, so we lent, lent it to them for a couple of days. Um, we didn't need it. Um, and then he's like, oh, you know, I'll fix you up with something, blah, 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 you know, discount or something. I was like, can we just move to a waterfront site? He's like, yep, I'll sort it out. Leave it with me. Um, so that was on like Tuesday afternoon. And then, um, no, that must be Monday afternoon. Yeah, because yesterday we went to the, um, to TI. So then when we got back from TI, he came over and he's like, you can go down to this side. Da, 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 da. And um, so we moved to waterfront. Look at this. This is my view from my bedroom window. Water, water, water. Lots and lots of water. I'm taking out it with my hands. about the truck just a little bit we decided to join them um, and invited ourselves along <laughs> um, <laughs> to do it with them so that we've got another vehicle in case anything goes wrong um, just so we can knock one over without any dramas before hitting the road again um, so we were going to actually start heading south again today but change of plans go and explore a little bit and ugh, make sure the truck's all good so hopefully we can show you a bit around the five beaches um, today. Bring in the truck to the sites. You got to stop at the croc tent. Missed out last time, so making sure we stop this time. Um, not buying anything because we've already bought, but needed to bring the truck to the site so it didn't miss out.
driving down the beach. Um, have a tip for car park while our friends did the do the walk to the sign. We don't need to do that walk again. Um, so yeah, we've come to explore down a little bit further. Um, down the beach is low tide and the sand is soft. So I saw Dad went up on that rock, <laughs> rocky bit exploring. We've just driven past, uh, sorry. sorry, I'm filming, Daniel's letting down tires, the usual I'm thing, you know. Um, anyway, we've just driven past a, a historic little town um, of like, Somerset, um, but we had, didn't really stop. Um, I kind of just want to go and do the Five Beaches Drive, uh, but there is, is stuff you can do there if you wish, but we've just gotten to the little area at the start of the beach. It's a nice view, it's a bit windy today, sorry, I hope you can hear me. It's a bit windy. Letting down the tyres, just to be sure that we're all good. Rather than being stuck and have to dig ourselves out. We are at 35 PSI, which is way too heavy, um, too much for sand anyway, so we will let down. What are you going down to then? 20, just yeah. in case. Yeah, okay. Cool. Alright, I'm going to get on it too, so we can get it done. like we've already made it two out of five beaches. Yeah. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> um, there isn't soft sand though. There's like one little tiny bit um, really and it wasn't even that soft. So see. we'll see. It could get maybe softer. There a, maybe there was a really high tide that like made this really hard or something. I don't know. Or maybe the soft sand's coming. Soft sand could be coming. Who knows? I 
size difference. disgusted in society and humanity with the amount of rubbish on these beaches. It's all plastic. It's all plastic that washes up, I get that, but it shouldn't. People should put their rubbish in the bin and not let it get into the oceans and wash up onto these beaches. It's disgusting. and a review from me for, as a teacher perspective and a mum perspective. Um, if you are looking at some, for something on the road, you can um, go to our website and you can get a discount for it as well. If they're super cool, I love it. Anyway, uh, we play by UHF over the radio with other families when we are traveling. Alrighty, let's go. Green Primary, this is Ariane Owen. What animal has a trunk? What animal has a trunk, Aria? Elephant, good job, yeah. Both got it right. Both got it right. Well done to both of them. Let's go on. Just come for a drive. Where to? Um, see if we can find the World War II um, plane crashes sites. Um, There's a few up here apparently. Yeah.
So I'm going to show you a boat ramp up here and uh, Jackie Jackie Creek and let me tell you I would not be launching a boat into this personally. That looks like you're going to get killed kind of country. <laughs> I said that we weren't a fishing, weren't a YouTube channel that would ever do fishing because we just don't really have much interest in it. But um, we are here, Wapid Sasha and Brett from uh, Sveto's Trip and YouTube. We've been hanging out with them a bit up here, and uh, he's wanted a companion for the boat ride to go fishing with. So here I am, utter noob, but you know, see how we go. <laughs> This is Brett from Sveto's Trippin. He's taking me out fishing. We're going out in the bath, in the bathtub. He looks like he knows what he's doing, doesn't into, he? Into the ocean. I, I don't feel like I know what I'm doing. We're not having any luck yet. Uh, I've had a few beers now, so you can kind of call that successful, I reckon. I think he spilled more in my boat than he drank though. Yeah, it was kind of choppy when I was drinking. But anyway, we're just chilling out here. We're changing some lures. Apparently that's a thing that you do. Um, looking for fish. Apparently the bottom looks good for fishing. Good for fish. So, we shall see. Fish! I didn't film my little catch because I felt embarrassed about it. But... I think you were struggling to wind it in. Yeah, it's pretty hard work. That's reasonable size. fish? Yeah, it actually is. I'm going to take it. <laughs> nice. I did caught a thing, catch a thing. What is it? Decent teeth on it. It's some big ass fangs. Look at the chompers. We've come for a little drive this afternoon because we're planning to leave finally tomorrow and I haven't gone up to Punsand okay. again and I really wanted to go up to Punsand again so we've taken the shortcut the from Sacia to Loyalty and then there was another shortcut instead of going back to the PDR Bamiga Road thing Tip Road, Pajinka Road, whatever it's called to get to link up to Punsand and this is the kind of Road. Oh, I made it. It is. Eek. Ah. That was great. That was the last of the trees <laughs> that we had to take out on the way. <laughs> oh, that's was a mission. I suggest not doing that road. Yeah. <laughs> Just go back to the Pajinka Road and take the turn off. Our drone fishing. Hey, but I don't know what it is. You can't come much shallower. You don't get those on the golf course. 
I can grab that at the cable. Can you just hold that? Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, wait, Someone tell you it's Kaylee. Back where I told you. Right. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's just Hang it in. There it oh, is. It's in the corner. No good. So we're not going to eat fish tonight. Oh, the other one. Plenty big. Well done. 